Do 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 Coachella. Nightwalk. Long. Who are you? Destroy Lonely. Destroy Lonely, welcome to Coachella. What's up, man? And Lone, who do you have beside you right now? Our brother, Ken Carson. Hello, Ken. What's up, Nard? We're going to talk to you a bit later. Yep. And right now, we have Destroy Lonely. And right off the bat, I have a gift for you right here. A My Bloody Valentine oh, it's LP. It's hard. It's the first one I ever listened to. What can you say about My Bloody Valentine? Damn, bro. I really like their music. Uh, somebody that mean a lot to me, uh, they showed me their music like a couple years ago. So. <laughs> and that is a gift for you, a My Bloody Valentine LP. Yeah, you. that's a gift for you. Bro, thank you. Hey, hold this to it. Thank you so much. Bro, thank you. That's, that's why I fuck with that for sure. Destroy Lonely, did it all begin at a cookout at Mike's house where you met Jesus? <laughs> Who the hell is Mike, though? No. Do you know Mike? Mike, who the hell is Mike? Oh, white boy Mike. Yeah, fake, for real. Yeah, that, that's how I happened. But that ain't how my shit started, though. That's how I met my twin from back then. But, nah, that ain't how it went. But I, that's, that's the moment, though, for sure. What was that moment like? Shit, that was just a part of my life. That's when I met my brother at the time. He's just, that's still my brother, too. But that's when I met him, and that's when, like, shit started rolling off of me. Like, making music. They gave me my laptop, all that shit. So, yeah, that was, that was shit started kicking off, for sure. Nisa's a punk rapper, into punk. He, he going, that's my brother. He going crazy, for sure. Thank you, Mr. Burns. <laughs> Yo! Long what? got some nice teeth, though. I will say that, though. Yeah, you really got to give credit where it's due, though. Long, Long has some nice teeth. Ah! Hey, Mr. Burns, that's... Hey! Nah, yo, shout out Mr. Burns. That's my, uh, that's my piano teacher from high school. Yo, what the fuck, bro? I mean, it don't matter, they veneers. Yeah, bro, right, shout out know? Mr. Burns, bro. I used to see Nah, I, I gotta have my camera here so that we don't cover long, bro. Get class. Because this is his it's interview, class. though. It's his interview. <laughs> it made music, bro. That's all right. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. Piano. Yeah, bro, but it wasn't even about the piano class. I wasn't in there doing the class. He just knew I would like to make music, so he'll let me skip. And, like, it was a studio in school, so he'll let me skip and act like I'm in his class and go record music in the studio. That's why I fuck with him. Cause Notice how high the camera is. Dooney's on her knees, slopping up Ken. LOL. See, I'm over here thinking the only reason I even read that comment is because I thought you were talking about my camera on, this, on the screen, my face cam. But you're over dick, re dick reading, dick riding. Fuck. Cause you just, you let me rap all day. You were also into science fairs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, I do a lot of different no. things, bro. <laughs> yes, I want, hey, real shit, though. I want every science fair I ever did, first place, no bet. AU. Yeah, Slim AU, that's my favorite right name. That's very science ish. <laughs> yeah, my first rap name was Slim AU. That shit meant like gold. That shit was corny as fuck, bro. What are you doing right now? You are destroy lonely. <laughs> I like that name. Slow A U. That was my name. That's crazy. Like Quote, little tundra, he gonna stay. That's one of my bars, but I got cold. V V S. Yep, cold. Valentine. What the fuck? That's the first. That's one little my... tundra. Yep, tundra boy lonely. First name. Mm -hmm. A U. A U. Tundra boy lonely. Then destroy lonely. What was Lonely's Man, long flexed sexy, up bro. slow jams all about? No cap. Bro, this old ass tape. Yo, you like asked me weird damn, questions. Boy. Like, that was shit wasn't about nothing. That was probably the first tape I ever dropped. Just trying to put music out on SoundCloud. I recorded that shit in school. The name is really funny as hell. Like, stuff, slow jams. I was like, man, I heard that one five. Because it don't exist. Bro, this nigga crazy. This is like, this from when I was like 14, bro. Like, but yeah, that shit ain't nothing, bro. That's different. What was it like pillow fighting at the mall? Bro, that sounds crazy. <laughs> 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 nah, that happened, but that seen that crazy. clip. Y'all seen like that, that clip? I walking through, it was these YouTube niggas, they caught me in my pocket, they said they wanted her. I'm like, wait. But don't make it sound like that, though, Twin. Like, <laughs> I have another gift for you right here. 
destroy lonely a ludicrous 12 inch featuring infamous 2-0 infamous 20 smart for you and love fate bro of course You're these dead. niggas got more this jewelry than me bro what? why is you saying that why bro why is you comparing me on my... come on nigga bro what is you talking about bro i don't understand why y'all niggas do this just watch the fucking video bro can got way more jewelry than you i hope so bitch fuck fuck wrong with y'all bro bro leave me alone bro you're gargling my nuts bro i'm telling you you're really massaging my shit bro what i was curious is influence 20 versus i20 what happened there it was like infamous for a little while yeah so this is my pops uh he just he just dropped the infamous to i because that shit long as hell because in this rap shit bro you gotta have a name it's fine but it's hard though i never owned i never owned and it's got instrumental on it as well for you to experiment on nah this is sick shout out this your dad also came from battle rap didn't he like where did he my pops Yo, on that. Lone dress looking good like you feel me like i like the different color like it's just got a nice gradient though. It's cool though. I like it. Your dad also came from battle rap, didn't he? Like, where did he? My pops, my pops on that heavy. He really on that rapping shit. But this is different. I like this a lot. I never, I never owned one of their albums. I ain't gonna lie. Except for my, I had my pops. I'm uh, dick riding for giving a compliment. His first album, I had got that CD shit, a couple man. months ago, just cause I seen it in the store. But this is nice though. And that's a gift for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Did your dad call you Spank? <laughs> Seriously, look, yeah, so growing up, but how do you know that? What about Ken? You are destroyed, cool, bro. Like, they're cool, bro. I guess they're dreads, bro. Like, Sweet. look, they're dreads, bro. They're cool. Like, what do you want me to say? Girls, they're cool, bro. They're cool. Yeah, so growing up, but how do you know that? You are destroyed, lonely. We have to know. All right, so growing up, my family used to call me Spank, Spanky, because I used to. <laughs> Yo, they used to call Lone Spanky. Yeah, no, I, I think that's that's crazy. crazy. What, bro? That's such a one of one, you, like, nickname, bro. I guess it's two or two now. Now, look, bro. Niggas putting question marks, bro. I have a friend named Spanky. We, now, here's the thing. I don't know why the fuck his friends called. I mean, why his family called him Spanky. What? Like, bro, that make no sense. Maybe he got spanked a lot. But we used to call our friend Spanky because he used to spank his meat a lot. Called him Spanky and then Wanky, Wanker. Spanky G's. You know? He was known to like beat his meat. I was bad as hell. I used to always get whoopings and shit. So that's what my pops used to call me. He used to call me Spank. But your mom was pretty cool, like taking you to Little Wayne? That's amazing. Yeah, well my my mom I love my mom for what she did, like with me and music. Like when I started doing shows and shit, she was driving me around to all my shows. My first concert, like Shout literally out first Shout and last concert I ever went to. After this, I went and was doing my Got own shit. Nice so to go see Drake versus Lil Wayne, and that shit changed my whole. I was like, oh yeah, I'm finna do what these nigga doing. So it was like. Yeah, shout out to mom for that. That was fire. I was wondering, what exactly is going on in this picture right here? I put you down. So this is me. Uh, actually, I had to be like probably like 10. Max Payne 3 just came out. It's one of the best shooter games of all time. Damn, um, yo! So bad, Dom, Yo, Dabo, you see this black ass little nigga? In an Uspa polo? Yo, Dabo, your ass got a chance, boy. I promise, bro. What? Oh my god, bro, the fuck a carbon copy. Do y'all see him? Yo, this is crazy. I'm really starting to see it. They both chop as hell. Yo, Dabo, anything's possible, little bro. Anything, bro. Just grow that hair out, gang. Max Payne 3 just came out. It's one of the best shooter games of all time. I wanted this shit so bad. My pops went to me go get that shit. He took a picture of me. He put this shit on his Twitter. What if that nigga goes down like the other path where he ends up looking like, who's that nigga? Who got mad because I was laughing at how choppy he is? What's that nigga name? I feel like bro got two options. He got the long path and then he has the... Bro, y'all yeah, know exactly who I'm talking about. Bonnet Boy. Long Bonnet Boy or Cuff him. Damn. So, two out of three of your options, Doblo. <laughs> what the... Did I just call this nigga Doblo? Bro, two out of three of your options, Lil Bro. You're going to be hideous. So... Good luck, though, gang. Up years. Be Pen, Ken. Hey, Dooney, wait outside. I got to do this interview right quick. Okay, Ken, hurry up. I need more of that dick. You fiending. Chill.
Hey, Max, I'm going to be home in two hours. Can we play for a night? Max, see, I told y'all she not fucking can. Niggas writing Wattpad fan fiction, dog. There's some shit I see on TikTok, little bro. People started finding this shit. But, yeah, this is what I used to look like when I was young, nigga. This is me now. How hard was it to play that game? Like a shooting game? It wasn't nothing. Oh, yeah, man, oh, man. One day my meat will be me free, out, bro. It'll be free from games. a bunch of but tongues and lips. Like one you're into day, reprogramming bro, playing, Xboxes bro. and stuff like that. I used to take the controllers. Yo, why do you know this? Who's telling you this shit? Bro, I used to take the controllers, bro. I used to take the Xbox controllers and model myself, bro. I used to take them. Damn, get, bro, like, I ain't do my high five. I used to take the shit, bro. Come on. I ain't do what you were saying. Like, I ain't wasn't doing nothing with the Xboxes, but I, I used to do the shit. I used to take controllers and soup them up myself and shit. That's crazy. You know that. That's crazy. Well, you are destroyed lonely. We have to know. Dude is a geek. I mean, yeah, bro. Like, you know, he like video games. Nothing wrong with it. I ain't never played no Max Payne, though. Bro, I feel like I never touched games like that. Did y'all ever play that? I never played no shit like that. I guess... <laughs> Speaking of video games, etc., I have a gift for you. The Fortnite soundtrack for you to sample, possibly. Yeah. Fortnite like yeah. kind of true, though. Like, what the fuck? Nigga, chill out, bro. Hey, all right, look. So, since you put me on blast, because I, uh, I guess you know. The vinyl is cool. Like Yellow. It. I like Fortnite. It's one of my favorite Damn, games. Damn, bro. Yo, we had to stop going. Good shit. Yo, if a nigga hand me a Fortnite venom, like, I don't know, bro. I don't really know how to feel about some shit like that, bro. Put your chin away. Have some manners. What the fuck? Bro, I don't... You know what? Probably would never give this a play ever, but thank you. But For possible sample, though, and a poster as well. I think I'm going to keep it. A wall hanger, a good wall hanger. Yeah, look, I'm going to keep it in the pack, and I'm going to use it as, like you said, art. I like how I look, but I play Fortnite a lot, bro. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody want to smoke on this with me. I ain't going to lie. Quote, what a bad teammate it, you are. Honestly. Damn. Where that's from? Periscope. What was I doing on there? Like, Eight bro, I got a nice face, bro. No, you feel me? I was, Real I was sick. geeking out as a kid. Just being honest, video though, bro. Games bro. Online, it's a compliment. Stupid. And I wish that video Bro, was what is y'all, bro? Stop pinning shit. All we're trying to do is watch an interview, bro. Can we just watch an interview? I don't understand, y'all. Max lines. Ha ha. Hua. Get him, man. Throw my shit emote only. I'm the number one Drake stick. What? I've never said none of these. Maz ha ha hua. What the fuck is a ha hua hua? I've never said this. Throw my shit emote only. Bro, throw my shit emote only. I didn't even know I was saying that until y'all started pointing it out. And I was like, I don't like saying it out. And then I'm the number one Drake dick sucker. That has never come out my mouth. I've never said I'm the number one Drake. Bro, I'm not even dick sucker, bro. I just defend him at all costs. At all times. He can never lose under my eyes. You get what I'm saying? I feel like it's different. And I was listening to Drake and J. Cole today, and Drake a way better lyricist than that nigga, bro. So he ain't even need his help. I was hearing that. I'm like, yo, this nigga Drake is different. Maybe Kendrick might got him beat, maybe, by like an album. Not even an album. I don't know. Honestly, bro. I think y'all niggas got it fucked up. I think it's really cool, like using Periscope. J. Cole just say a bunch of big words that make y'all feel important and make you feel intelligent. You know what I'm saying? It's like when niggas throw you in AP class and you're like, oh my God, niggas is talking about the ventriloquist, you feel me? And you're like, oh damn, bro, I feel like I'm something now. Nah, bitch. He just saying big words. He not really saying nothing, though. J. Cole be saying a bunch of bullshit, bro, and I like his music, so don't even say that. The people, you, now it's really easy. Oh, man, you put shit on the net, this shit don't ever go nowhere. <laughs> That's his thing I've <laughs> Fuck that. You previewed Bane for like 64 people? No, four people. It was only four people. But what was the reaction though? All four people said it was hard, so I was like, shit, I'm finna drop it. <laughs> yeah, you say that you a lesbian girl, me too. Now, while Drake did say that, Drake has his playful, silly lines, and then some. sometimes he has lines where he'll really cook your shit, you feel me? That's the thing though, Drake has fun. Jake are always serious as fuck. Like, come on, bro. Like, no one try, bro, no, bro. Fuck that, bro. Drake got his different moods, different agendas. Okay, sometimes he's zesty, zesty on a Friday night. The next day, Saturday night, he coming to kill him. Like, that's the thing, though. That's why he the best. He could do it so many different moves. Bro, we're watching a bit about Destroy Lonely. Why are we talking about Drake? You feel me? This how I know y'all niggas got mad dick in your mouth, bro. 
Like what? I didn't even bring him up. It was y'all, bro. Come on, bro. What? <laughs> Shout out to the fuck motherfuckers, man. <laughs> what were shows on the East Side like? Me yeah. when I was younger in Atlanta. That shit, I never performed in the East on the East Side. For one, I performed in the city, and that shit was different. It was like Atlanta used to have like this little, uh, it was like a little scene or whatever, and they used to have like these little parties and these little shows and shit. And I was like, I was trying to do shit, so I used to perform. I probably did like a good ten of them. There's like twelve people in there, maybe fifty, maybe a hundred, but. I did them like a couple times and I was like, fuck that. They got to start making veneers with shit. like and I just slight yellow tint. You get what I'm saying? So I was able to actually so that still look a little bit and natural. And I thought to give you a gift to welcome you to the count. land of Gotham, Coachella. Fuck, bro. Batman. Fuck is this LGBTQ Eiffel Tower, bro? What the fuck is this? Where is this? Is this um Coachella? I'm not trying to disrespect nobody, bro, but like, what is this? Can someone tell me? <laughs> Yes? Okay. Give you a gift to welcome you to the land of Gotham, Coachella. <laughs> Bro said five star tower. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, that was a good one, bro. Do I need to start busting the Kinsey scale out on y'all niggas? Mind you, I've always had this bitch pin. It's just I haven't had to utilize it on y'all, bro. Today, y'all really bugging out, bro. And I might got to really identify a couple motherfuckers. So just everybody chill, please. Damn, where the vid go? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Want to do real shit, and I just man wrecker. This nigga hates Batman. <laughs> <laughs> you like Batman? I do like that. What? Some Coachella, a Batman wrecker. This nigga hates Batman. <laughs> <laughs> you like Batman? I do like Batman a little bit. But I thought it's also good for a wall hanger, isn't it? Like to hang on the wall for artwork. You're giving me a lot of fire looking things. I'm into like how things look, but this this is hard though. What year is this from? That is from 1966. Damn, originally like the original original from 1966. That's fire. Where do you find shit like this? Uh, that record, I think I found at Beat Street Records in Vancouver, Canada. Can a regular nice. nigga. I appreciate that. Well, only the best for Destroy. Not Ken, my bad. Long. At Coachella. Yeah. Scary Godmother. Favorite Halloween movie of all motherfucking time, nigga. What the fuck? See, now you striking. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good movie right there. Great movie, Scary boy. Cartoon Network. Yes. Cartoon Network. Yes. Bro. yes. That, I like. Tell me more about the scary Cartoon Godmother. Cartoon Network was the best, um, the best like TV channel, bro. I got Cartoon Network over. Damn, bro. No, bro. Nickelodeon went. Nah, see, I don't know about that. Loku, actually, I'm really thinking about it, bro. The big three, you know, everyone knows Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, Disney Channel. I don't know, bro. I, I was about to, but then I thought about it. Bro, Prime Disney, I don't know, bro. It just depends what you like, honestly. Yeah, they're my favorite. I like one and two. They don't even come on. Thank no you more. for that, you so Oh, my, my nigga shit, Justin, they the so rage, much, boy. Bro. I had my grandma. She used to be able to do this shit. I don't like, think I'm part of the team, bitch. TV and put it on a DVD. I had my grandma make I'm a DVD a for me. Out the scary guy, mother shit. I used to watch shit all the time. It's my favorite Halloween movie all the time. Possible sample down the line? I guess so, Narwar. You want me to sample a lot of shit. So it, <laughs> well, I have another gift for you right here for you to sample. Napoleon Dynamite. Some breaks. Check out. They're all breaks that you can actually sample for your music. Nar Narwar thinks this, this nigga uh, making beats. He think he's Metro Boomin. Yo, what the fuck? Nah, Metro, see, I can stick to them drums, by the I way. I got to say this shit every day because Drake is not a streamer, so he's not able to vocalize it. Metro, make sure you stick to them fucking drums, nigga. Make sure you remember that, boy. Stick to them fucking drums, boy. Yeah. This just because I don't see this movie a million times, and I know Someone I like the look. <laughs> yeah. What's his favorite part of Napoleon Dynamite? It's uh, he's sitting in the classroom, I think, or he at the lunch table. I haven't seen him in a minute. He pulled the tires out of his pocket. They like Napoleon. What's gonna do with the tires? Eat him. You like gosh. I fuck with Napoleon Dynamite, bro. I probably seen this movie a million times. My uh, somebody else who I care about a lot. They got me a birthday gift. It was like it was like a special edition of the DVD. It was like furry and it was like like tiger print or whatever. But I still got that shit in the wrapper to this day. I love this movie. That shit at my house. You can sample that one as well, and that's a gift for you. For sure. I, I was wondering though, is it really like 150 songs Yo, per I'm month that shit you right write? Now. Quite a few songs you write per month. That's my boy. I just got out here in LA a month ago asking how many songs I do. 
Uh, probably about 200 now. Wow. That's a lot of lyrics. Damn. Five. When did he get here? Hey, I'm about to go. You right? So 200 songs in a month. That's a lot of songs, bro. That's a lot of songs. God damn. All the lyrics. 200 Five. songs. Five leak, maybe. Maybe two snippets. No drops. But I get it, though. Working on his craft. He want to drop the best possible. Yo, I'm thinking like, bro. There's no way, like, some of those songs, like, bro. Think of the amount of songs these niggas have that niggas never heard. What do you do when you record so many? Like, what sort of mindset? Like, I want to do five tonight. How does it work out? I don't count, and I don't care. I just, I like working. Me and my brother, we just sit in the studio. That's where we live at. When I get off stage, we're going to go to a studio. Well, I got, I got my shit set up. Damn, what the fuck? Hello? Y'all, this nigga just, bro, he sent me back to spawn. Bro, what, what the fuck? Nigga, hello? These niggas are hacking my shit, bro. Yo! Yo! Uh. No one's hacking me, bro. Ken is not hacking me, bro. Y'all drag every fucking shit, bro. Be quiet. Want to do five tonight? How does it work out? I don't count, and I don't care. I just I like working. Me and my brother, we just sit in the studio. That's where we live at. When I get off stage, we're gonna go to a studio. Well, I got I got my shit set up in the house right now. But that's how we got here. That's how we gonna leave here. That's what we doing twenty four seven. Nothing else. Yes, MF sir. Doom. Crazy. I like MF Doom. I was in I was somewhere yesterday. That was, I walked in for the win. This burger spot. Put y'all down on blast because it's already on blast. I walked in there. That's playing MF Doom. Just in my head, I go to the bathroom. I'm like, damn, shit, chum. I thought we were doing chum. Here's a gift for you from Vancouver, Canada, to bring back some smoke, an original no, the Cheech only, and Chum record with some. All the, all the, um, the, the whole collection. This overly chum. Speak English and don't cut. This uh, or don't touch kids. This fine. I'm hanging. <laughs> I'm hanging. I'm hanging. I'm hanging. So that's for you to use afterwards. You can roll up in this? Yeah. Damn. This is a crazy vibe. From 19. What's wrong with that, though? It's a song. Fuck. Five times speed, please. No, we got to take it every second, though. Like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah we got to. Yeah, we got 1972. Damn. <laughs> five, five, five. Five. That's the safe word. Hey, look, though. Tommy Chong, originally from Edmonton. I like y'all Canada people. Y'all make good music. And you do good things with your YouTube. Shout out Canada. I really appreciate that. So this is a gift for you to indulge in afterwards. I, you know, we about to smoke the fuck out of this vinyl. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that shit hard. Yeah. Big, that shit say big bamboo. Hey, hey, they psyched out with that. What the fuck? That's fine, that's fine. And, and also I was curious what is going on in this photo. Dabba are me, boy. Just stay stay down till you come up, little bro. Bro, right here. These my Just stay down till you come up, bro. You could fucking do it. What type of back boys in the hood shit is this, bro? Max, I'm sorry, my friend. For what? For what? Can you please move out the way from my king? Bitch, where I'm going to put my cam then? interview was too hard and also i was curious what is going on in this photo right here these my all right so look i'm gonna keep it all the way 100 then my brother heads i still be with this nigga every day to this day this nigga i knew named ld this this nigga named brandy this is my this is my brother right here though i love this nigga to death but we was just we was fiving bro like can't say who the fuck who the fuck we thought we was bro but now nah, I fuck with these niggas. When they see this, they gonna be they shut that's, up and that's react. Gonna be you funny. see how backwards that no, is? No, no, back. This is incredible. What's niggas going on here? This is incredible. I signed up My to brother, on Danny. Yeah, he out there. Uh, I used to sleep on his couch every time I used to come to LA, and he was making clothes and shit. So he gave me an opportunity to model for his clothes. Man, come here, and pussy. He took it. And he niggas the right first here. time. This is my first time ever modeling. And you sit since in bed, this bro. little small You're shit that I did for my brother, I done did a lot of big shit. This was just like, I guess, like a little light manifestation. But shout out to him. He's still here to this I'm day. I'm not turning cam him. off. I think it's great that you shout out 15 to <laughs> Yo, Dabo, head down till you I mean, stay down till you come up. You good, boy.
Westwood. Where? In a song. <laughs> I like Vivian. Like I unmuted alert box. It's uh, back uh, on. But she did a lot for fashion and swag. She's and Ken talks about Stella. Like, yo, I, bro, I really... Yo, we are watching a video trying to watch this interview. What does this mean, bro? Like, how do you even formulate this sentence, bro? I don't even understand. How is there a Timu Emo who made this shit, bro? Y'all niggas don't make no fucking sense. Timu I Air, Airbnb. What? Thank you for the sub, This your bro. new crib? Nah, bro, I got kicked out Airbnb, bro. Shout out to You shout out Stella McCartney. Yo, I love Stella McCartney. Like, I love that. Like, Stella, Vivian, that's amazing. We really big on what we do. I know we might seem like... I'm a star forever, boy. No, this not the end. Random question. For all the niggas that are sub, because if you're not sub, I don't want to talk to you right now. Put it in sub on. How do y'all pay for y'all sub? Like, is it our parents' money? Do you use your parents' credit card? Do you have your own money? Do you have a job? Prime? Prime. Sports betting. Thank Love you, you Max. Mom, own money, I work. Wait, job, wait. dumbass. Bitch ass nigga, I'm just asking a fucking question, dickhead. Wait, so what the fuck wrong with you? I'm just asking a question. Wait, so with Prime, you, you suffer free? Yeah, if you have an Amazon Prime account. With everybody? Huh? For everyone, or? Just one person. Okay. E kitten. Okay, so you have a you have a little a little e kitten giving you money. Oh, okay. Stop trading. This nigga trade crypto to uh, uh buy Twitch subs. Prime is a cheat code. Yeah, Prime is tough. But here's the thing: you can only sub to one nigga. You can only sub to one nigga. What about everyone else? Dooney sends me some money that Ken sends her. LOL, bro. Come here. Now I gotta head tap you because you're playing around too much. Come here. I'ma just time you out, bro. You're a six month sub. I'll spare you. <clears throat> Interesting though, bro. Interesting. Now you know what I used to do, mom and dad. If you're watching this, I saw it. I saw it. But I used to hop on Xbox. Um, I used to have my dad and mom's credit card attached. You feel me? And I would buy uh, the fifty dollar bundle, two hundred K VC, to buy my team packs or upgrade my players. And I tell my mom my Xbox was twitching out. It was glitching. I say, Mom, the store fucking up again. Worked every time. Sorry. But I used to do that, bitch. Who the fuck gonna play, pay for this uh, Onyx Kobe Bryant? Real shit. Yeah, bro. I used to be on some nut shit. It's funny because my mom was like, she she had a friend. And her son, um, that nigga spent, uh, he ran a 450 on her card off a uh, Madden Ultimate Team pack. And, and she was like, that's so crazy. That's why I don't live giving my card for your thing. And I'm like, yeah, mom, that's crazy. I can't believe that. But yeah, bro, I used to do that shit consistently, bro. And my, my team was good. It was fire. Shit, who gonna pay for it, bitch? I don't got no job. And I'm trying to make the lead. L son, that's stealing? Yeah, I was a motherfucking thief. Don't worry, though. You feel me? What goes around, come around. I'm going to make sure to reimburse. They be worth it, though. Hell no. Hell no. You look hella Mexican today, daddy. Yeah, bro. Yo, sub only, though. I mean, no, no, no. Emo. I got to take it one step up on niggas. I got to notch it up. Yo, Maz, make sure y'all time that nigga out right Like, here. we having fun and that, uh, that. But we we got a lot of knowledge on a lot of things. Like, we, we really do this. When did you first hear of Ken? I didn't first hear of Ken. Oh, See, everything, everybody <laughs> was around me. I know oh, like, I wasn't hearing And so... Man, me throw my shit deep stroke place, only. From as soon as I put an emo, nigga start spamming that yellow shit, bro. I'm telling you, bro. It's like y'all have that shit pre-fired, bro. You do like you do know that I y'all are patched, right? You can't stop me, boy. Mods, ban that yellow shit. Thank you. Thank you. Atlanta. But when I met my brother, I was actually in LA. And we was outside at uh I forgot where we was at. It was some other niggas performing. Me and Kenny had no move, no music at the time, but it was some, some other niggas performing. And we was out, we was outside. We was the only niggas from Atlanta. I said what's up to him. He said what's up to me. And then I got his info or whatever. And then once I got back home, him. Our I niggas, have a proposal for you. Gay niggas have me in fright. Fuck, Max, you are my knight. Will you like please me? kiss me on prom night? Take your bitch ass out my shit. I am the great zero three. Ban him. Yeah, pull up. 
Don't even know how nigga got my number. Take it but out, emo. Put up on me. I was with him ever since. Every day, this probably like four years ago, going on five years now. But everybody I meet, I met in real life. I met Ken in real life. Smart my mother. I met him in LA. And what about Loan? When did you first encounter Loan, even not music? It's crazy because my friends knew his music before me, but I knew him before them. Wasn't me and Kim was friends. It wasn't yeah. about no music, and he was he was hanging out with my best friend. Yeah, I, I was hanging with Cam like I was hanging with Cam hella, and he was coming with Cam type shit. And bro, before we ever was even making songs together, and then we was just smoking weed, watching other niggas perform. And let like, ADA to be making beats like we don't even have a microphone. We just right there like making beats, vibing. And we did it. That's when we was sending that shit. We was sending That's that shit, fire. bro. No bet. We was, we was, we, it was this little apartment in Atlanta, one of his homies house. Fire, we used to just sit up in there and talk about this shit. No bet. Bro, what Have you ever the... been to the cook plant? Like, yo, you niggas are unpatchable, bro. Bro, I can't patch niggas. What the fuck emotes is this, bro? Like, all I can do is sit here and laugh, bitch. Bro, y'all niggas is so annoying, bro. Yo, take it out, emo, bro. I'm not doing... I'm done. I'm low-key done, emo only, bro. I'd rather y'all niggas talk about my bitch getting fucked a million times over by a nigga music I love than y'all to call me a fucking squid. Take it out, emo, bro. In Atlanta. The Coca-Cola... Co 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 that sounds crazy, but the Coca-Cola factory, the big place, yeah, for sure. Coke plant, no. Coke plant is crazy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I was just, I was just in there with, bro. Yeah, for sure. It's Ludacris's restaurant, like beer and chicken at the airport. I, lie, I never ate that. Was my fault, but hell no. Nah. <laughs> I ain't never been there, twin. <laughs> what about Ken? What's this called? It's called beer and chicken. You said it's at the airport. <laughs> I'm gonna check it out now though. Where terminal that's at? I'm not sure. Luda, you gotta get on your shit. Uh -huh. You're ready to go, aren't you? I'm we supposed to have free motherfucking beer and shit. Hold on, I gotta lock in right now. I gotta lock in right now. Hold on. I'm a star forever, boy. Notice not the enemy. I'm a star forever, boy. Notice not the enemy, boy. Chicken. Yeah. So this is a spin out. What about Two Chains restaurant? Doesn't Two Chains have restaurants? I have not been to. His restaurant either. Bro, I stop putting it. Bro, y'all niggas keep putting that fucking fish in my show. chat. Oh, TI's Trap Museum. No. What the hell? No offense to Tip. Like, I'm just saying, we don't go places oh like that. I go to TI Studio. Yeah. Shout out that boy yeah. Tip. Yeah, uh, well, we can't drop the studio, but we be out there in the studio, though, for sure. Walter's Clothing, the legendary Walter's Clothing. I walked in Walter's and got me some voices. Yeah. What's that like? What's the clothing scene like there? Yeah, it's just legendary. Walter's ain't like no. Clothing store. It's just it's just central Atlanta. It's been there forever. You go in there, get whatever you need. excuse me, whatever you need, like tank top, shoe, tim, forces, like quick, like I mean now it's probably a little bit more suited up. I ain't been in there in a minute, but just like a central store that's been there for a long time. Some historical shit. I think it's great you did the song of Pink Pantheris. Shout out her. I fuck with her. Shout out Pink, man. If you seeing this, I fuck with you. That's twenty for sure. Quote: uh, Goonies okay. never say. <laughs> okay, I know what's going on here. I know what's going on here. Yeah, that's twin. Yeah, that's twin. Yeah, that's twin. Oh, Mars, y'all patched him? <laughs> Mars, y'all patched him. Oh, Mars, y'all patched him. Y'all patched him. Mm -hmm. Patched. That's what you get. I'm not trying to be weird, but. The fuck? Yo, is there two screens? What the? Am I in a getting jutsu? Oh. What the fuck?
Hey, Combi, Combi, I'm not trying to be weird, but um, are you are you a Yuri and Max? Like, do you guys got something going on, like a love triangle? No, nah, hell no. We just all friends. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah we just chilling, bro. That's my friend, bro. Fire. I like Max. Who is, cool. who is Yuri? <sighs> um, why did you show me this, bro? We're friends, dude. Oh, Dear Mr. Plague Boy Max, I am very sorry for the way Chad's making you f fuck up, Xavier. Happy one year, Maxi. Is this the ATL crib? Nah, bro. I got kicked out BNB, moved to another BNB. Because there's shit I am gotta get done here. Yes, bro. I just wish I could explain shit, but... Soon, though. As soon as I moved in, it'll be all good. Let's finish this video. Lastly, I have... This nigga has a tag called Goonies. This Goonies shit been around for a long time, huh? Of a gift for you an original Goonies pin. Yo, I love the Goonies from 1985. This is mad. This is mad, happy one year, Max. Uh, I used to watch this shit with my grandma all the time. This is like one of the first movies. Like, you know, when you watch movies, you know, I'm talking about like first movie, you can like remember like like watching. Like, it's one of the first movies. Like, I was like, oh, damn, this is a cool movie. Big ugly motherfucker. But yo, y'all yeah. will know when the new crib, I will literally title the stream New Crib. You're gonna. Yo, trust me, you are gonna know. You'll know. You you're gonna know, bro. You're gonna My know. grandma showed me this. Shout out shout out to Goonies. It's fine. Like watch Yo, stop spamming this shit, nigga. You hate bro, stop what is y'all spamming? Lazy eye, lazy eye, Mexican. Lazy eye, lazy eye. That's not an emo. Why is you put in plat boy lazy eye? There's no emo in my collection with that fucking language, bitch. The fuck this nigga spamming toxic bro. Bro, that's a Pokemon, bitch. What is you spamming, boy? Big fifteen W Max. Eight people are sleeping late past 10 a.m., don't you? Man, we some early birds, man. We might wake up 6 a.m., go to sleep 4 a.m. Still get up early. I'm on the phone with this nigga clockwork every day, and then we can start in the day. I hate all that sleeping shit. Man, I could overload on any whatever. I'm still up early in the morning ready to get that pay. That's how I do it. That's how we do it. Thank you, Destroy Lonely, for the shout-out on Montreality. You shouted me out. I do remember that. That's crazy. When did you first hear me? Just curious. I ain't gonna lie, keep me 100. Nigga, this life, we've been watching you forever. We've been trying. Tell him to bring me my money. Man, yeah. you should just be watching interviews and, and perform. Hello, Max, it's Chester Malone. Can no, you please no, react? Oh, oh, I no, don't. no, no, we're not starting with that shit. Oh, what? Bro, y'all, yo, you're, bro, fuck you, bro. You rolling louds, all this shit, like, man, twin shit right there. But we, I ain't gonna lie, we really giving these fucks, man. I'm gonna keep it 100. Y'all be like, is this real friends or whatever? Bro, man, this nigga used to sit on the couch with this nigga back there and watch everybody perform and be like, bro, one day, one day we gonna be doing the same shit. Bro, we just like anybody else. Manifestation. Like, we was right there applying and now we doing it. Yo, has Narwhal ever did shit with a streamer? Chella, 2024? Or not? Nah. Yes, sir. Destroy Lonely, anything else to add to the people out there at all? Man, y'all stay fire. I fire, you fire, we fire. Double O, I why should people care about Destroyed Lonely? Why should people care? <laughs> Shit, bro, cause, cause I care about I care about people, man. I care about the world. I care about my twins. I care about everything. We bring positivity. We bring good music, bro. We doing this shit the right way. I feel like, I feel like now we in a place where a lot of people don't give a fuck, but we still give a fuck, and we still want everything to be right, sound right, be pushed the right way, feel good, and that's what we on. So that's why you should give a fuck about me, my campaign, my twin campaign, this opium shit, everything we doing. It's authentic. It's real. Well, thanks so much, Destroy Lonely. Keep oh, on God. rocking in the free yeah, world. He said, that. he said that with some swag, bro. I'm not going to lie. This thing is good with words. Oh, God. Twin. Oh, God. I just believe that message. That shit just passed through my blood and veins, bro. And do, do, do. Do, do, fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we ain't, we ain't. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oreo. Damn, he wearing a bandana, but his hairline's still crispy, bro. Damn, bro. <laughs> ah, y'all found something else. Oh, oh, fuck, niggas just like to play with themselves. Go fucking finger yeah, your clips on the wall. What? Video over, bro. Niggas got me fucked up.